Hello, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Getting into some slippers in the tiny house because winter is here, guys. Guess the folks from Game of Thrones were right. It was coming. <laughs> so I brought some gear over. Um, let me put you up here. And I'm going to get this door shut as soon as possible. And then I'm going to lose a ton of light. I'll show you exactly what I got. Ooh. Bring you over to the kitchen where you guys can actually see. Okay. Well, I guess my solar um, thermometer thing there um, is still down. Low bat. Because of the cold. It's so cold, it's not even giving me a te temperature. It's giving me a dead battery warning. Wonderful. Well, we'll go to the old mechanical stat and tell you how cold it is in here, guys. It is. Don't block the humidity part out. That's a bunch of bull. Um, it is 30 degrees Fahrenheit in here, just about. And we're supposed to get hit with a major snow front the entire province, or for my American viewers, which a province is basically a state, is gonna get nailed with uh, the wrath of uh, old man winter here coming up. And, uh, oh wow, my feet are freezing with slippers on through the floor. Oh man, that's how cold it is, guys. That sucks. Okay, so, in order to make room around the tiny house, or around my parents' house, I have to start bringing some stuff over to the tiny house here. Now, I need to invest into some storage racks, possibly the one I showed you guys um, in my video named Mice um, that my brother bought my dad for his birthday. That seems like a good setup. So if I can lay out and use all the vertical space I can, it's going to save me a ton of space, floor space. So what I have here, guys, I'll show you. Let me f uh, flip you around. Okay. First, I got my bed roll. This, um, I use zip ties to um, keep everything bundled up and organized. And I put a little, I didn't tighten this one, so I have something to carry the roll by. Um, this is a bunch of large tent poles from the, if you guys remember, I got, uh, we took some te old tents out of the crawl space at the house and I brought them over here and put them in the back room. So that's part of them and I'll just put them off to the side here. I brought that lantern we found under there as well. I brought inside this uh, ice cream container, I have um, some those pure pro pure ceramic filters that are used but I can still use them as a pre-filter before my main filter once I ever you, you get it get into that and then I have my old tent out of the bug out bag I brought my sleeping bag my good one and another blanket so I'm gonna turn the light on on the camera because I think you guys desperately need it right now um, see if I can get it going. Menu. Okay, it won't let me go to the menu until I shut this recording off. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll turn the light on the camera. And we're back. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera over here and set up. I'm going to do the bedding while I'm here. So, I'm gonna first, first I have another blanket that I'm going to throw on. Yes, I'm sloppy at making the bed, guys. But then again, I don't see the point other than cosmetics. Because they did do a study one time saying making your bed doesn't make it more healthier or anything. Just more 
plays into the eye type of deal. But who cares? <laughs> it's only me in here. No women. So, um, here's my sleeping bag. That's going on here. So I got tons of layers now, especially with my good sleeping bag. That's really nice. Excellent. Um, I'll show you guys these filters. Oops. You guys never heard of Chapman's, it's Canadian. But I got this for free, this damn thing. So these are just the ceramic filters. Some of these are more worse than others. Um, so I got one, two, three, four, five in there. I can't count. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this here. Um, bed roll. Uh, let's see. The tiny house looks pretty nice, so nice clean floors. So I'm going to just put this stuff up against the wall, I guess. That's about as all I can do for some of this stuff. Um, until I get storage for these tents and stuff, um, yeah, they're just going to be hanging out. So here's a tent. This is the tent out of my bug out bag that was taking up so much space. And I have the poles over here. Here's the pole. And there's some, um, here's some tent tie downs stakes that we found in the uh, crawl space as well. So there's some bug netting that I cut up recently for the hammock. A couple more tent poles. Or not tent poles, but stakes. And then I'm going to have to find a spot for this guy. Um, there's still kerosene. This is a kerosene one. I'll show you that over in the light. It's kind of still dusty and stuff. Put this on the, uh, put this on this rag here. I washed it up and everything, but it's uh, kerosene only, made in Hong Kong. Everything's still made in, well, that's Japan, I guess. I don't know, probably not Japan. But uh, the, everything still works on this guy. He's a little bit taller than my dollar store special. But this is the the real deal back then. So the wick's still good. This is kerosene only though. So kinda kinda funky guys. Um I'm gonna put him let's see. Not up here on the countertop. Where would he look good? Maybe in the back near the water. Water container somewhere. Hang this guy up. Oh, I don't want the kerosene near the um, the fireplace, obviously. So whatever. Will he fit in the? No, he won't. Okay. Well, I'm going to put him in the laundry tub for now till I know what we're going to do with him. And, uh, yeah, it is freaking cold. So, obviously, I don't have the skirting on, or that would help with the um, temperature of the floor. But, you know, whatever. Can only do so much, guys. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice in here still after cleaning and everything. I think so. But um, yeah, I'm not going to bother putting the fireplace on today because I was just here dropping some stuff off, getting rid of some clutter. 
I'm going to try and not bring a lot of stuff in the tiny house, believe it or not. I want to, you want to live a little minimal so you're not having the issue we had where we had a bunch of crap in the crawl space that we never look at <laughs> and it just fills and fills over time. Oh uh, yeah, you can see my breath on camera, can't you? <laughs> sure can. Um, yeah, that's how cold it is in, in Canada right now, guys. But tomorrow, so on Walking Dead Day, Sunday, um, we have, we're going to get blasted with snow. Um, they're saying maybe a foot of snow here. Um, I'm going to think, I'm going to have to go home, prepare the snow shovel, and the, we, my brother bought my, uh, dad, um, I think it was two Christmases ago, a electric powered snow blower. And I've actually used it a few times and it actually works pretty well. So I'm going to have to get that stuff ready. Unfortunately, our garage is so packed right now with crap because of everything going on. Um, we weren't able to bring the electric uh, lawnmower in this time, this year. So I've just left it on the, the battery on the charger. I'm basically on a trickle charge um, over the winter. It is in a shed, but it should be brought in to a warmer location, you know. Um, but what can I do? No room, no room. Everything must go. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't want to crowd the, um, the accountant's uh, storage space. I've already kind of in did that with the, um, as you can see, the hoses and stuff. Let me turn the LED light on. Um, these tents have to go. I'm thinking, guys, for those, I want to buy another one of these big plastic bins. Whoa, sorry, guys. Damn uh, tripod. Uh... The, these plastic bins, I want to buy one more of those, put all my tent gear in there, and then stack that up. And I can even buy three or four more and stack those up. And then um, one of those nice racks would be good in here because I can incorporate it kind of like what Mike did from MushroomPatch.com. He has a little aquaponics setup here. But if I go taller than his setup, which is kind of necessary with all the stuff involved, and it's better at height level, because, you know, why not? You're not leaning down and all that. But the floor looks good. It's, yeah, it does smell better in here. I don't smell any off-gassing, but I wouldn't think there'd be any off-gassing because of the colder temperatures. I do have pain in here, though, but whatever. I still got to use that for some touch-ups on this wall. I don't know what happened here. Totally oblivious to why the why that wall turned that way but whatever <laughs> so yeah um tiny house is doing okay so far guys oh yeah i gotta clean that up too when i would move this wall but yeah i don't want to fill this um closet too badly i got my box there i got some plumbing left over you know a bunch of crap but the bed is looking good. This would be cold. I could actually probably live in here with no heat on with uh, just all these layers that I have. Though I wouldn't want to step out of the bed because I'd be freezing cold. But um, yeah, it's looking really nice in here, guys. I'm loving it. So that's all I can uh, basically show you for today. I'm just kind of getting some preparations done before we get nailed with... Uh, uh, I guess it's supposed to be an un it's our first big winter storm coming and people are crazy they're driving already there's a ton of accidents all over so you got to be careful out there um, also I wanted to bring up when I go to the um, US for my family vacation guys um, I need to prepare a road kit because we're going through five states Five U.S. states. Um, going down to Florida on a cruise. Woo! 
Different, uh, different cruise line this time. Um, no real reason for the different one. We were happy with the first uh, cruise line we went on. If you want to see video of that, go to my playlist section, click on vacation. It's all there. Um, what else? Yeah, so I need to, I, I'm, the one thing that we do have already for the roadside kit is I have that crank flashlight with the blinking red lights and it, it's a, I guess it's, what do they call it, a diamond, dime, dime, dynamo crank flashlight uh, that I picked up at Dollarama for three bucks and it's, I love it. No batteries, it's got a emergency lighting um, if you needed to, um, but we got to bring like blankets and stuff. Um, I guess kitty liver, kitty litter, a shovel, um, possibly my my EDC. I'll bring that. Um, what else? Oh, I think that's. You guys give me some recommendations below in the comments. What do you think I should bring? going to the US for a family vacation. Now remember, we're gonna be on the highways mostly, going down to Florida through cutting through five states to get there, so. Um, uh, what should I bring? Because remember, we're leaving in January, guys, so there's still gonna be bad weather, snow, ice, all that crap. So give me some um, uh, helpful comments below and I'll build a little kit for us um, before we go. And, uh, other than that, what can I do? That's about it. Can't say too much, guys. Um, just got done work. Work is finally starting to slow down just before Christmas. I guess everybody ran out of money after Black Friday um, and their Christmas shopping, so everybody's broke now and in debt with credit cards. <laughs> so I probably won't be back to work till s spring, summertime now. Who knows, though? It's been a crazy year, so whatever um <sighs> friggin cold in here yeah i'm even with slippers on guys i'm freezing let's see if i can do a high kick no my my leg ain't gonna kick that high there's the slipper slippers are on but i gotta go it's cold in here i want to get home and uh i'm working on actually the computer's on at the house and i'm working to upload another video for you guys so <clears throat> that one you'll see before this one, of course, but whatever. But everything seems to be secure, safe in here. No fires, no nothing. Um, I have oil in here, but I doubt oil will freeze. I'm hoping it won't freeze. Um, to be on the safe side, let me see. Oh, there's my mop. Should hang that up to dry somewhere. It still smells like lemon bleach. Hmm. Hang it over. Oh, oh, I'm putting this in the shower, guys. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Here, I'll turn the camera so you guys can kind of see what the heck I'm doing back here. Maybe. Here, I'll bring it with me. Make life easy. I used to have a GoPro, but it was a knockoff and it sucked, so it didn't last. So I'm going to hang this dude. Let's see. Yeah, this thing's dripping. And I don't want it to... Okay. I'm taking this plastic container and it's going to drip into that. to use let's see the ladder to hold this damn mop in place so it will slowly drain hopefully come on You're always 
rigging stuff up. Okay, I'll bring you over here to see, show you what I actually did. So, kind of rigged up the ladder so it's holding the end of the mop and it's draining into this plastic container. The reason I don't want it draining into the laundry tub, into the trap, is because the trap can freeze and so can this, but this won't bust anything that I, I'm worried about type of thing. Um, so kind of a little ghetto setup. Yeah, things are good. Good, good, good. It's super cold in here though. That wind is killer. Um, anyway guys, I'm out of here. Oh, wanted to give you an update too. The outside of the tiny house, this corner, um, from actually back there, the front, that drip, the little piece of metal I put on that gets the water away from the bottom of the tiny house is come off in the wind. So I need to go outside and tape that. And I probably won't show that on camera because I don't even know if I have tape with me. So we're going to find out. I know I don't have any in the in the toolbox here. So whatever. Um, yeah, that's going to have to be the way it is. I'm just going to throw these uh, bottles of oil in this bucket just in case if they freeze and explode, they'll be contained in that bucket. Doubt we'll have any issues. Hopefully not. The other stuff is like alcohol and alcohol based, so I don't think it'll freeze. It'll act kind of like glycol. Put on the floor there, make sure. Well, that's from the mop. Okay. So I'm out of here guys, sorry about that.